Hey, what is up, guys? It is John from The Collector's Company. Um, fresh after the uh, online regional we had over this uh, weekend in Oceana. For those of you guys who do not know, I actually was able to win that event using um, SS4, Son Goku, and Vegeta. So um, I'm obviously super excited about that. I haven't won an event for a while since, funnily enough, Zenkai Cup. <laughs> it has this cool Gogeta leader. Um, so I haven't actually won a big event in a while. I've come... The last online original, I got second with Golden Freezer, and this event, I, um, yeah, I was able to win it with, uh, Gogeta, so, yeah, super stoked about that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and make this deck profile fairly quick, because I know, um, you know, I'm playing, uh, one of the decks that everyone wants to get banned, which I actually agree. I think that this thought does need a change happen to it, because this deck is very over the top, uh, alongside Red Sin, which, in my defense, I still think Red Sin is the better deck, in my opinion. I could be wrong, even though I played this deck. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that is just, that's just my opinion. But, um, yeah, before we get into it, I just want to say shout-outs to TAC for the awesome uh, tournament. It's, uh, I don't know, these online events have felt kind of good to play in lately. Obviously, I'm coming off a second and a first, so I can't really complain. But, um, yeah, no, the event was, yeah, I think it ran smoothly. And also shout-out to Umit and Marcus Kintasi, who uh, commentated the event, which is kind of cool to see. I, I did watch over my VOD because I won, so I had to pop off because my... Uh, the last game, shout-out to Mark Andrews. He was actually... That game was so insane. If you want some good entertaining content, go watch... I would recommend go watching that game because that game was uh, very down to the wire. It literally came down to the... um very end but yeah all right guys we'll quickly speed on through the deck i'll go over some cool tech options i have and my overall thoughts of the deck and uh yeah we'll just quickly uh speed through it all right look quick uh disclaimer by the way um yes i do have a my hero play mat no i don't play my hero i'm a fan of the anime a very big fan of the anime so quick disclaimer because i know i actually got uh, called out of it on stream but anyway um yeah so we'll quickly run over the leader um if you don't know what this leader does the biggest thing about this is that you can combo red scenes in rest mode um, which is kind of broken, um, especially with the um, other part of um, this auto here, is that when you combo any card, you get to look at the top three um, cards of your deck for a red at Saiyan or a unit with a specified cost of two and add it to your hand. So um, your leader is able to plus on your turn while generating his energy, plus on your opponent's turn generating the energy. Um, little tip, just don't attack this leader. Like, if this leader doesn't get to a combo step, it's actually a vanilla leader. A lot of people don't actually realize that. So, um, yeah, this deck is very exploitable. I don't know why I'm telling you how to beat my deck, but um, that's how you beat it. Um, and the other thing that's annoying about this deck is um, the Awaken Condition. Is um, if you have a Goku and a Vegeta GT in your Z Energy, and you have two or more energy, you can go down to six, untap one, draw one, and flip this leader over. So the difference is that now, our auto to combo and draw cards is no longer a thing on this side. So on the back side... Um, permanent we can still combo cards in rest mode um other permanent skill is that uh if we um i need to reread this for the wording but it says your gogeta gt cards can attack after mode cards um and when your gogeta gt cards attack battle cards your opponent skips the defensive skip step so um how this really works is that with the eight drop the eight drops full effect isn't on a on the card alone it's um combined with this card to attack and nuke your opponent's board completely um, a lot of people don't actually know that, so I'm just letting you know that now. Uh, auto, when you fuse this card against Gogeta GT, because again, the card, the 8 drop, which probably needs some changes done to that card. Um, that gets hit by the, um, the, it gets the bust from this card. It becomes Gogeta GT, so it gets, a, you can affect it with this. Cool thing too, uh, this card can, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Because this card against Gogeta T GT, you can actually use this to attack active mode cards of the turn of Union Fusion. Comes up sometimes, and the thing is that your opponent can't defensively combo. You can just swing into something and um, get rid of it, but usually just swing to 35k to get rid of it. I'm in auto, once per turn when this card attacks, you draw a card, and then on top of that as well, you get to play for free a uh, Saiyan with a uh, energy cost of 1 from your hand in rest mode, so obviously the combo is you attack with this, you play the Goku with Vegeta to draw a card, or you play the Goku that you look at top 5. So yeah, overall, um, for people wanting this card hit or run it, I think the big thing about this is deck just simply draws too many cards, and it will always see every card in its deck. In the final game I had, uh, in the finals, I had one card left in deck and one card left in life. Those are the only two cards I didn't see. I literally saw every card in my deck besides two cards, like quite literally, so... I think that's why people want this um, leader hit, which I do completely agree. Um, I will say, um, I think the big difference between Gogeta and Sin is that Gogeta frontside can be punished way harder than Sin frontside because you need to... Gogeta has to get to... This leader has to get to a combo step to actually start drawing cards and awaken on the front where Sin just does its own thing. But yeah, that's not what you're here for. <laughs> you know I mean? I quickly run through my deck, I guess. So yeah. Um, 
<laughs> so the, re the reason why this deck's kind of over the top is these two cards here. The Ready to Brawl door. Uh, Goku and Vegeta, when you play them, they switch itself to rest mode. You draw a card, and when you combo it off, you draw another card. So combined with your leader, your leader essentially says draw three, and choose one card in your hand again as energy, is kind of what it says. Because you swing with this, you play this in rest mode, you draw a card, you combo it off, you draw another card. So you're generating so much value. Um, just for seeing these cards, these are the heart and soul of your deck. Literally a pot of greed, uh, but on, uh, on crack. But um, yeah, this is the... Oh, man, I, 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 I don't know what to say. Like, this, the drawing cards in Dragon Ball is always, like, how Dragon Ball kind of works. But this deck kind of just draws too much cards, if that makes sense. So, um, can potentially see something hit here. Maybe make them a limit one or, you know, something else. I'm not entirely sure. But, um, yeah, th these cards are very, very, very powerful for the deck. Um, next Goku Vegeta's we run. We have four Kikaku and four of um this Vegeta, the um elbow one. They kind of do the same thing. The uh, Goku is um the difference between the two is that the Goku has double strike. Uh, Vegeta has crit when you come with the Goku. Um, yeah, when you can play the if you have the other character in your combo area, you can pay the respective character for one. Goku on play draws a card. Vegeta lets you choose a battle card and reduce the power by fifteen thousand. Um. I like to, what I like to do defensively, I'd like to combo a Goku then play this Vegeta for one. So for essentially one energy, I essentially got a 20k combo um, because the Vegeta comes out and negs something 15k because you can do it in both players' turns. Um, yeah, I wouldn't change out of these cards. They also have an effect that where you combo them, you can pay one energy and give your leader uh, five, um, an extra 5k in critical if it's a Vegeta or a double strike with Goku. So it hasn't come up in a while, but definitely uh, when I've played this deck in the past, um, people get caught off guard because technically this deck has four copies of Furthering Destruction Champa. So people do sometimes get caught sleeping with that. But um, yeah, I wouldn't go any lower on either of these cards than the main Gokus and Vegetas that you can play. Um, especially after the ban list, so... Um, yeah, next card we've got here, I've got one Unbreakable, three Son Goku, the uh, Adventures Advent, Adventures Advent, and then four of this uh, other SS4 uh, Vegeta searching for rivals. Um, you can arguably go down to three Vegeta, because there's actually only nine targets for the deck, so four of them is literally most of your deck. If you want to fit space for something, uh, you can cut this Vegeta, but I like this Vegeta simply just due to the fact that it's able to search out... Um, like, it's just a deck thinner, plus it's a fusion target, so we only... Yeah, we run 12 20k Vegetas and 9 20k Gokus, so... And the fact that we're usually pitching this to search for a Goku, it's kind of like... Yeah, so it doubles up as a fusion target and consistency. Um, but yeah, this this being said, it lets you search for any of the other... The Kick Goku, Unbreakable Goku, or the Pot of Greed Goku, so that's uh, very nice. I still... I do, I like this 3-1 split, split of um, Unbreakables, essentially, like... For one drop, uh, like it's four copies of one drop that either searches top five or just draw a card. Um, this unbreakable can be used as fusion target, um, because it's 20k. And if you're catching people sleeping, especially in the early, t like if I just turn one, I'll pass my turn, they attack me, I'll combo this, I'll draw a card from the unbreakable, and then I'll also look at top three for my leader skills. So, yeah, unbreakable, I do like it as a one of. I, if you like it, you can play more, but as the one of, I think it's fine. And then this is our only really turn one play that isn't combo related, this Goku. Uh, top four for any red Saiyan that's cost... F top five, sorry, for any red Saiyan that's five or less. This card's insane. This searches pretty much every card in the deck that isn't a bomb. So it searches super combo, searches everything you needed to search. And also it doubles up uh, as a Goku GT target. So if it's in your Z energy for your leader, you get to awaken. Uh, I'm running three 8-drop Gogetas and one um, my SCR. I'll, just, I'll leave this pretty much the engine of the deck, right? Uh, the SS4 Vegeta and three Gogeta. Um, I was actually tossing up between running Bardock this time, and I ended up going back to Vegeta, because Bardock's only really good versus Red Sin um, going second, whereas Vegeta is just always good, uh, no matter what matchup. Being able to pump your lead at 10k, kind of getting another turn, it, it gives you that extra turn you need, plus being able to play this against Blue, seeing if they have Dirty Burst, kind of forcing them to Dirty Burst, and you did this for free, so... At the, at the worst, this card is getting one card out of your opponent's hand and giving your beat leader a double bean for free. And um, at the best, it's pressuring four damage, so it's a very good card. And you know, definitely overwhelm it early if you want to get an extra hit in, but um, yeah, this card, uh, Vegeta, is very clutch. And uh, sadly, I was actually considering playing Vegeta, like uh, the red Vegeta that I've uh, played in the past at this event, but uh, ultimately, uh, shout out to Jun and uh, Kevin who gave me too much depression in testing, so I did not end up playing that at the end. And then obviously, um, another card that quite this card needs to get looked at. This card's very broken. 
Um, this is the best boss monster in the game. You pay four for it, you draw a card, you literally get to clear your opponent's all your opponent's battle cards, no questions asked. And when they sw they can't even negate this. Your if your leader ever um yeah, your opponent when this card attacks, you're at minimum getting two super combos plus a five K out of your opponent's hand. Like at a minimum. That is kind of nasty. Especially if your opponent's are playing draw super combos, it actually taxes their hand really hard. And um shout out to Mark again. I played I ended up playing all three of these against him in the finals where it was Gamma versus uh well I was versus Gamma and I was able to keep this out on the last one out for an additional turn because I Z awakened. But um yeah this card's insane. Um the only the only downside about this card is that it kills itself after your opponent's turn. But the amount of value it provides um, lets you just close out the game. Yeah, I know, I know some people mistaken Gogeta for an aggro deck, because this is red. It's kind of like a mid-range deck, and this is, like, the best top end for a mid-range deck. So this card's insane. This card is very good. Uh, next we'll quickly chuck in, uh, go to our Unison package. So we're playing four of the, uh, SS4 Unison. Um, one Yamcha, two Pilaf Missiles, and I might as well grab the other Unison I'm playing in the main. Um, one Piccolo Junior Unison. So, the logic behind all of these, this is the unison for the deck, the uh, Gogeta, right? The Gogeta simply just lets you look at, on play, look at top three, um, and add some add a red card to your hand. That can, this adds, yeah, your entire deck besides one card, every card in deck besides one card, which is our Overrealm, um, that isn't our SCR. Card's insane. Um, every turn it sits on board, um, you get to free play one of the draw Gokus and Vegetas. And fun fact that I learned, you can actually use this plus one through three, plus two to free play the new Gohan TP. Uh, because it'll be a one cost. That happened to me. I played a mirror match against uh, shout out to Zach. He actually showed me the interaction that was uh pretty I did not know that was a thing, so it was good to learn that. Um so yeah, that this card's good. Um Yamcha, because it's Yamcha's Yamcha. Uh peel off missile, this is specifically for blue and yellow. There's all the floodgates in the game of other than Topo and uh, okay, that's okay. The most common floodgates in the game are fifteen K or less, so being able to hit this for two is uh very nice by hitting some ramp pieces, so peel off missile, very good card. And then the one Piccolo Junior, um you can honestly replace this. The one time I played it, because this card in theory is really good versus Gamma and uh any yellow deck because they constantly spam and negate the counter the cards. I um, mean, you just instantly killed them. It was a nice into gamma, but like I didn't really do enough. I think the yeah, it's really good, but also it's hard to justify playing this when Gogeta's a card. It's very. I sided this card out a lot for a different unison. I'm running my sideboard, which is an low key carried me today. But um, yeah, the four of this card. 100%, yeah, I'm sure good. Peel-off missile, I started this card out a lot as well, but, um, yeah. Good cards are good. You can still, can see, I, I think Piccolo Jr. deserves a spot in the main or side, because it does feel very nice versus, um, versus yellow and blue, because they just use so many cards to play counter, and you don't have to constantly worry about clearing them. Because a lot of people fall under the trap that you have to just play Gogeta on turn four every turn. Uh, you don't have to. You don't have to play Gogeta on turn four. It's fine to sit on something like this Unison and just constantly clear cards, but this card was okay at best. This card was very okay. If you're looking for a card to change, you can definitely change that. Um, next, I'll, we've got four... The Super Combo of Choices, right? It's Super Combo. I know in the past I've played Vera Super Combo. Um, I'm running... There's too many more dead cards in this deck, mainly being all the Unison stuff, and plus extra cards that you don't use all the time. But, um... Yeah, it's, um... It's searchable from the leader. It's a bottom deck to draw to, fix your hand. Can't complain. Um, well, then we have our son, our winner, winner TP package, our three, uh, our four Gohans and our two Gotens. Uh, Goten, I didn't play a single time today. I kind of put this last minute. I replaced SSP, Kairak, and Goku, and, uh, yeah, it didn't, I didn't miss Kairak and Goku, but Goten didn't really do anything either. He was just kind of there. So, this card's just okay. Like, the problem with Goten is that in this deck, we have the Kicking Goku, which is just a superior version of this card in this deck specifically, but I thought, like, I don't know what to put in, and I wanted to keep, my deck is 53 cards, I don't, I just needed cards to side out, and this was the card I sided out a lot. Gohan, on the other hand, this card is stupidly good, um, one energy, um, if you have three Z energy, or, like, your battle cards and leader cards in play, Z cost equals three, it, this card's a one cost 20k double striker, that on play makes something 20k, this hits so much, um, the fact that it has unique doesn't matter in this deck, because you can swing with it, combo it off, and then just play another one. Um, yeah, Gohan really, like, Red was not struggling, and then they made this card, and especially in Sin Shenron when this is live literally on turn one, but in this deck as well, it's very powerful. Like, because normally, your ideal turn one play 
is your opponent attacks into you combo a card, right? You play a unison, you swing, you play a Goku or Vegeta, you, like the one you haven't comboed, you swing, combo it off, then you awaken, you swing, play another drill one, combo it off. So you're in a situation where you have three Z energy on your turn two and an energy up to represent this. So this card is disgusting. This card is very good. Um, if you are a red player, you definitely, I'd argue you have to pick this card up. This card is just too powerful for what it does. Um, you don't need the Widow one. I'm, uh, <laughs> I have the Widow one because I've been winning some locals lately. So I can't, uh, yeah, that's why that one's a winner. Um, then the last cards we're playing in the deck, um, we've got Broly Overrealm and SS, the, the Saiyan trio, uh, Trunks, Vegeta, and Goku. Um, again, this card kind of fit the same bill as Goten, where it didn't really come up today, but in the past, having a one energy, uh, another source of removal that isn't tied to my Gogeta, and being able to neg something 30k is very nice, because I can play this for one, neg something 30, and if it doesn't, like an SCR for 30, and then combine it with the Rush Attack or the Vegeta that comes out, I think it's very nice, and then Broly, uh, this is getting replaced for the Vegeta once we get our hands on it. We actually still don't have the new promo cards in OCA available to everyone. I think that people will have them after this event. But otherwise, this would just be uh, that Vegeta. The fact that this doesn't have combo cow is kind of sad. But um, yeah, this is a necessary card you need to just remove bombs. Like there's, yeah, having a free overall removal that's also 30k is very nice. And the last bunch, a couple of cards in the deck, we've got three testing the opposition and two imposing presence. Uh, just defensive cards. You need uh, testing to um, go from six, uh, from five to four. And we use surmounting in our Z deck to put us from six to five. So it just lets us get to our super combos and our Z leader. Um, imposing is another card that didn't really come up today. Like, it's very good, don't get me wrong. But I don't know. Every time I've included this card in my deck, I've never really <laughs> used it for some reason. I don't know why. But it's a it's a necessary card. I did start it out against the solid decks, but um yeah, good card is good regardless. So that's it for the main board. We'll quickly go through the Z deck because the Z deck, yeah, this deck is kind of the, this deck to an extent builds itself. So you know, uh, here's the Z deck. I'll just get it into the shot. Um, we've got four rush attack, the Z leader, defender of life, and um surmounting. Like I touched on surmounting. You have to, you, you usually want to play this to put yourself from 6 to 5, so testing the positions live to defend X card or whatever. Um, Rush Attack is just kind of free in this deck. You get so much Z energy that you can spit out a couple. I usually only play 1 to 2 a game. I don't usually uh, go into all 4, but I think you just need all 4 because it's kind of free. Um, Defender of Life, yeah, it's nice to deal in just a free damage. This is the main part about this. Just, yeah, th pay 2 energy, burn a deal the damage very good <laughs> not much else to say about that and then the z leader uh yes i have a zenkai one uh, i didn't win a zenkai cup this card is very pretty but um yeah i'm also flexing that's probably a mistake but anyway lightly played by the way lightly played but um yeah this card's insane um a lot of people misuse this card i think because the big thing about this card it's more of it's a good defensive tool and also a good aggressive tool uh because the big thing about this is that once you play this card you're skipping your next charge phase but that makes it so you don't lose your eight drop gogeta that's usually how you want to do it and if worse comes if you're overwhelming this defensively to block a 100k swing you're probably losing that game so um yeah this card is very very nice it is a very pretty card and yeah it's situational um when it comes up it helps you extend your game to win like it's kind of it's better as an aggro tool than a defensive tool. Like, if your opponent's on ever one life and they don't negate your leader swing, um, yeah, like, uh, shout out to M. I actually had a game against him today where he was on five life. It was my round one. I, um, I swung with, um, the Gogeta, take him from th five to two. I swung with this. I, sw I swung with, um, my regular leader. And then I comboed all the way up and Z awakened so I can put him from. Two, from two to one and then i um burnt him for his last life with um one of my sideboard cards so um yeah there's a lot of ways you can use this card aggressively and it's um yeah just the 100k is a big like dbs is all about having a bigger number and this is the biggest number so it's like it has to be good but um yeah that's the uh main deck so we'll quickly sort through the side deck now um we'll save the best card this is the mvp this card right here so we'll save that for last but we'll quickly skim through the rest of it um, one cunning, um, this is mainly for just Android 21 and other, and blue decks. You only need the one, you only really want to play the one. Um, yeah, good card is good. Uh, two Broly Crown, I, man, I have been liking this card less and less, as weird as that sounds. Um, the big thing about Broly Crown is that 
so many decks have counterplays now. So let's just say now you're up against blue. Against Scammer specifically, right? They have like 20 energy up. All right, I'll play my Broly Crown. They pay one. They play their 118. Okay, I lose my Broly Crown. I wasted an energy, right? So that feels kind of bad. Against Yellow, you got two up. I play this. Oh, I play my Vegito. Good luck attacking me this turn or like, you know. Um, they play the new Sin card. Okay, cool. Nice, nice Broly Crown. So I feel like this card is still good when it works, but it's also kind of a trap card. I don't know. I've been liking it less and less, but I still, it's still a really good card regardless. Um, probably the second MVP of the day, Topo. Um, Topo is arguably one of the best floodgates right now, specifically being that it's a 20k. Um, so specifically for red mirrors, um, a lot of people are mainly playing the Unison package, and Omen of Awakening isn't being played too much right now. And Omen of Awakening in Red v Red is the only card that hits Topo. Um, optimally, but everyone's playing Peel Off Missile because all of Yellow Yellow's floodgates is all like 15k's. So. Yeah, Topo just lets you have a chance against Red Sin, unless they're playing Red Yellow and they just counter counter your Topo. Um, but yeah, Topo is just a turn end die. Uh, shout out to Kevin. I played in one of our games. We uh, played testing. I played all three against him, and he couldn't do anything. So that's how I knew this card was good. Uh, two Wolfang Fist again, another card for Red. Uh, also good into Blue when they attack with barrier cards, you just kill them instantly. Uh, two Koitsukai, too many floodgates. Two shoe, too many floodgates. Enough said. <laughs> That's literally it. Oh, flood there's so many floodgates right now that are so cheap, and so we just need a way to punish our opponent for playing uh, floodgates. And then two black smoke dragon. Um, this is originally Kyrokin in my main board that I replaced for Goten, and then I thought to myself, black smoke dragon's a better card, so black smoke dragon has been played. And you just yeah, you just remove removing a unison. All the options are just too good. You don't <laughs> you don't have to do the drawing one in this deck because the deck just draws infinite cards, but um. Yeah, Black Smoke Dragon's a good card. And lastly, the MVP of my deck, of my side deck. Honestly, this card won me three games today. Vegito, Unison, and Fury. This card overperformed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely bump it up to two. It's because like Vegito, even though I didn't play the deck, he came over and saved me with this. So this card has three effects. And keep in mind, this card costs four energy to play. Um, so active main plus one. You get to draw a card, and then you get to play a battle card from your hand with energy cost of two or less. So that is actually a better version of the Gogeta Unison, other than the fact that it's a plus one, because we get to draw the card, and the card comes in active mode. So you can play the Gohan TP off of it, very nice. Uh, the minus two, and this is the main reason to play this card, the minus two is that um, until the end of your opponent's next turn, they are not able to play cards with skills. That's it. If they play a card, the skill gets placed in the drop area instead. This single-handedly won me the game against Black Supreme Kai. It was one of my games today. I played this on turn four instead of Gogeta, and they literally planned their turn around me playing the SS4 Gogeta. I played this, I minus two'd, and then they just couldn't play the game. And I defended it as well, so I was able to do the minus two, two, two turns in a row, and they literally can't play their entire deck. It's so dumb. And then lastly, the minus five. Oh, also, in the mirror match as well, if you play this... And you use the minus two, they can't play their Overrealm, SCR, and they also can't play their Gogeta. Um, the Gogeta A drop, because it's being played by skills. This card's ins this card is absolutely ridiculous. Like that minus two is insane. Um, lastly, the minus five, which is this is the skill that I used to kill um M in our round one game. Um, if your opponent has no battle cards in play, deal a damage. That's it. Deal one damage to them. Minus five. I would recommend if you're a red player and you just want some good mid good mid rangey late game tool, this card is over the top phenomenal. Um, one, it's it, it looks beautiful, and two, it's just all the three effects are very good. I'm definitely gonna bump this up to two. I might honestly cite a main board one over the uh, Piccolo Junior Unison because that card didn't feel good. But um, yeah, another card I'd recommend playing in this deck. Now that that is the deck, I'd recommend playing. There's the Trunks, Pan, and Goku SR from Ultimate Squad that you can put it under Unison and it gains a marker. I'd recommend that. But, um, yeah. That is the deck, guys. I'll just quickly tilt... I kind of I kind of tilted it in the wrong way, but I'm trying to rush this out a little bit, so I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, that's it, guys. Um, that is um my deck profile. It's nothing special, I'll be completely honest. I uh, There's a lot of last-minute tech, but it, it, it worked. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Vegito, Unison of Might. This card is insane. It's Vegito, the GOAT. So, um, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thanks for Attack the Hosting the Mad Event. Shoutouts to uh, Nick, Kevin, and Jun for actually giving me good testing and uh, clapping me and making me not play the deck I wanted to play and make me play a good deck. Um, but yeah, and also shout out to Double Sleeve for the stream. And also, shout out to Collectors Company. Um, we've got deck profiles. 
We'll be having Peter's deck profile because he came second, another team out of ours. Uh, we'll be having Nick's top four Trunks future profile, and we'll also be having Jun's fifth place Gamma profile, and Tim Haynes' sixth place um, Red Blue Cooler Mill. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of stuff to look forward to, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, I'm super stoked that I won an event. Yes, I didn't play Golden Freezer. I can play Aggro deck still. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all next time. Peace.